Oh, dear me, it's cold. Welcome back to another video. We're not in the workshop. I've come out on an adventure to Just Campers to pick up the last few pieces so we can get that oval back on its wheels and ready for the Volkswagen show. And hopefully everything we need is in that building. Oh. This must be it. Hey! Hi Dom, good nice to see you see. person. You must be Mark. I am Mark indeed. Amazing. Welcome to Just Campers. Thank you, I was just looking at all your awesome pictures. Is this oh, where yeah. it all started? Yeah, this is where it all started. So 89, it was just literally as a business welding up campers. The workshop was so small that you used to have to have a, if you did a bay window, you had to have a top that went over the doors because it was too long. It's literally like yeah. a single garage. <laughs> literally a single garage. So you started doing restoration? Doing restorations, yeah. 89 is on my own. By 1990, we already had two people. And then it sort of evolved through until when we opened a part shop in 97. Wow. And then we came here temporarily in 99. Right. And the very first episodes of Wheeler Dealers were filmed here. In this building? In this bit, well, in the middle bit now. Amazing. It must be amazing to be standing here now in this huge building with this massive operation that you've got knowing that this sort of it all started at these humble beginnings. It, it, yeah, each morning when I come through, it does remind me to make sure the customers are happy because I don't want to go back to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's show you around. Perfect, thank you. These are all the guys that work here. We've all got VWs as well. Yeah. That's it, Chet. He's, he, I spoke to him, he helped me with some parts for the oval. Yeah, that's yeah. it. And that's my cabrio, it's the same age as me. We're just a couple of weeks apart in age. Maybe. So yeah, a lot of the people drive the cars too. We need more space. And it yeah. will put another row in, let's get all the cars in. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I can't wait to have a look in there. Excellent. Let's go and have a look. It's busy, isn't it? So is this all orders yeah, going so out the door? No, yeah, we're open seven days a week. Really? Yeah, so we ship seven days a week. So this is uh, the weekend's big stuff that's waiting to go. So that's all going to be picked up today and sent straight out. Ready for delivery on Tuesday. And, and then in here. Wow. So it ramps up during the year. So the peak is obviously the summer, at which point we've got 10 people packing. And at this time of the year, we've normally got about five or six people packing. Every but day. But it's seven days a week, yeah. Seven days a week. And that's then the amazing. small stuff goes by Royal Mail, Middle stuff by DPD, big stuff by Tough Nulls, right the way up to full containers going to America, Australia, and into Europe. Right. Wow. Well, so all of the brake parts that you sent down to us would have been here. That's would have been here, yeah. and packed by one of the Packing team here. Up and, yeah. And then a lot of the sheet metal parts like this, I can show you in a minute, they're actually made here on site. Brilliant. I'm trying to guess what that's from, but I can't. Uh, in, a rear van, in a rear balance of a late bay. Oh, ah, oh okay, yeah. Floor panel, yeah. Floor pan, fridge, there are our own manufactured fridges. Type 25, T6, T6. T6, so you do new stuff as well? Yep, right there. For the transporters up yeah. to brand. Right, okay. And then even a barbecue going out. Somebody's the enthusiastic. <laughs> Somebody's enthusiastic Someone, for warm weather. Someone's ready for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then they've got a board so they can see the orders in the queue. And then they pick them all with a handheld. So, well, so you get on here. Mail at the moment, so I've got to pick a bucket. You so go and look for a real, real yeah, wheel so bearing spacer. So it tells him what, what size bucket or whether yeah. he needs a bucket, a basket, a trolley. For how big that part is. For how big the part is. And then have you got, do you know where that wheel bearing is or do you, does no, that tell, tell him? Tell me. So really? So he scans his bucket. And then. <coughs> and then tells him where to go so in the warehouse. And he'll give you a picture. No. And you can just wander over there, grab it, and that's yes. it. Yeah. And it, if it's got multiple items, it'll take them on the fastest walk around the building. So it literally works out the route yeah. to go. Yes. So they don't wander cool. around in circles. That is so clever. So all the small parts are down this side of the building. So when we first came here, we had to about here. Just, okay. just this little bit here. Yeah. So all of these full of parts, full of, parts, yes. full of bits. Yes. Yeah. Little seals, grommets. Everything. Needed one of those. And on here we want section three and draw three, which is that one there. 
this is a massive operation now. I mean, you can't have started like this. No, it started off with like a order pad, duplicated order pad, because yeah. we used to take a lot of the orders at the show and then the customer could have one copy and we had the other. Yeah. And then we'd still do the same on the phones. And then we put the IT in. I mean, it's evolved and evolved and evolved. The IT behind it's the same as a lot of the big mail order companies are using. It did, but it's bit. bespoke to us because we, sell, we ship such odd shapes and sizes. Well, yeah. somebody might order something really small and a big piece of glass, I don't know, and a brake disc. And True. most systems can't cope with that, so we had to have it written for us. Same as they use in the Apple Store. But the old it's the same technology as the Apple Store. How many people have you got working here? 52. 52. This is uh, marketing and purchasing, and then round the corner is e-commerce. Hello, how's it going? You okay? So when people call up to order parts... That's next door. That's next door, okay. So we've got sales and customer service. And then we did have purchasing at the back there, but we moved them in with marketing. With marketing, right. Look at this place. So we pick the first three levels, one, two, three, with the what I call them flying carpets. <laughs> and then above <laughs> is the bulk stock that normally corresponds with what's below it. Right, OK. So, but it's in speed order. So the faster it sells, the nearer the middle of the building is. So you've got seat belts next to... So things that people order quite often. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Seat bells next to brakes, next to carb kits, next to brake drums. Sort of service parts. And yeah. All quite, yeah. Wow. So How yeah, big it is runs, this place? Uh, it's about 24,000 square feet in Jeez. here. So you've got wings next to barbecues. Ideal. Ideal. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Just what you need. Next to cookers. And then you've got more recognisable things like... Heater beetle, channels. Yeah, yes. beetle, heater channels, beetle bumpers. Flip belly pans for split screen cameras. Oh, for the, the double, the, yeah, double yeah, door. Yeah, underneath. Yeah. And then the, so we do a lot of um, MDF panels for the split bays and Site 25. For the so door panels. Yeah, yeah, so you can then trim them yourself. Because a lot of people want to make it bespoke to match the rest of the interior. To match the interior. Oh, I see. Yeah, but yeah. they're all pre, all the holes are in the right places. Do you make these? They're all, they're all made. made here. Yeah. yeah, they're all made here. Well, not made here, but, but made in the UK. Yeah. You've got everything. Try to. Yeah, we should have bought a bigger van. I think we're going to need a few, quite a few bits. <laughs> so Mark, there is one thing that we need, the fuel filler cap. Fuel filler cap. That'll it's got to be here somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere. So here we go, this should be the right cap. Perfect, that looks right. And it's got the seal. Perfect, thank you. Nice no one. problem. That's really good. So these are complete front beams that we make on site here. And then we put the original Febby uh, centre pins in them. They have proper roller bearings in there. Actual bearings. Actual like, bearings rather than people putting urethane in. Like the originals had, the needle then, rollers, yeah. Yeah, and they're made so they can be left or right hand drive. And you can put a servo or not put a servo on it. Perfect. So the, And then we do narrowed, lowered, do you? standard yeah. height. Yeah. And they're all fabricated here? They're all made here. We'll show you in a moment. So there's a whole metal working shop here. This is an awesome shop. This is, this is proper brilliant. English oh God. cottage industry. This is so cool. This is your new oven. It is. It's a monster. It's a monster. What goes in there? This is and here you go. You can actually see the beams being powder coated. Oh, this is a powder coated. They're literally in there to be powdered. So these are like Type 25 repairs for the rear suspension. All of these piece, these repair panels, you make them all here? They're all made in here. And powder coated, so that can go on yep. with that finish. You don't have to yep. sand it off. Nope. So, the, yeah. so the cab floors, these are made here. They're pressed on the press. So you've got the dies. Yeah, male, made and, female male and female tool. It's They're heavy. pressed. It's solid, isn't it? Yeah. It's the right gauge. So it's the right it. gauge, it says it was originally. And all the flutes line up. So if you just want to let a piece in, you can cut a piece in and, and line the flutes up. How nice is that? You can confidently say, like, yeah, because you make it here yourself. Yeah, if exactly. it doesn't line up, you can yeah, change it. Exactly. That is so good. So we use the new old stock panels to be our template to make the parts against. So that's an original new old that's stock. An, yeah, it's a new old stock side. So wow. they'll use that for making the repair panel at the bottom or for making the windscreen repair lip or the side window repair lips. So we've got lots of the new old stock parts here and that's what we template against. God. I'd love to have one of these. I really would. 
especially with that rack of tooling to go with it. It's just amazing. I guess this is things like seals and things like that. You'd put little lips and things, fold edges, and yeah, all of that actually. You can do two different folds at the same time. Yeah, because offset it with, yeah. It literally punches like this. That's bizarre, and it just goes bang in one go. No, no, it no, just it munches around. Yeah, it munches around. So it's got, they're all the different heads. Different heads, I see, right, okay. And then it just goes, and chomp, the whole chomp, sheet chomp, of metal chomp. goes, blah, blah, blah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a nibbler sort of thing, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I know, they recognise that noise. I know what's happening in here. <laughs> Hi, John. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Yeah, good. Hello. How's, how's it going? Yeah. God, it's a lot of work in that. Yeah, we've got, we can only run 10 at a time. Cool. And that's the, so that's an inner, inner seal. That's it. For a Type 25. That's it. And we do right off side, near side. And give it a final fettle up. So is this two pieces? Or you've just cut? Yeah, that's two pieces. That's two pieces, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the main body. And this is the panel. stick that bit you on. You can see the seam. Yes, of course, there we go. That's the whole panel. It's very clever. I bet your welding is better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the beams? Yeah, we've just seen them being powder coated. Yeah. They look really smart. Do you like them? Really nice. Yeah, they look really, really good. How long have you worked here? Uh, in May, 10 years. You're kidding. Doing welding, fabrication. Yeah, the whole, all the camper parts. All the camper bits for 10 years. Yeah. Oh, you obviously enjoy it. Oh, yeah. These are all like overflow parts where we store the goods. Right. And then over the road is the, well, we call it the Raiders of the Lost Ark warehouse. <laughs> Another so warehouse. All the, all the, yeah, all the bulk stores over the road. All the cool, all the big stuff is over there. This just keeps going on and on. What's he, the story with this? Yeah, this belongs to Ian, who works at Just Campers, does, works in the warehouse. So it's a historic uh, circuit racer. So it's done stuff like Goodwood, the, in the historic class of Goodwood. Is it really? Yeah, and now it's being lightened and <sighs> having a refresh. Yeah, there's not much left of it. There's not much left of it. And it's about to have a, a rebirth again. Brilliant. But I think with all these race cars, they've all got a history. Cool. Type 25, it had a, the most asthmatic 1600 diesel engine in the back of it. Right. And we've now put a, a Golf GTI engine in the back of it. No way. Yeah, so it's gone petrol to diesel, and it now actually flies down the road. I've never heard of that kind of conversion before. Yeah, it fits how straight does in. A, how does an upright engine fit? You take the diesel sump off. So that's a Golf GTI engine. Yep. Wedged into a diesel van. But or still the Type 25 gearbox, by the way. Still Type 25 gearbox. And it bolted straight on? Yep. Or really? That is such a good conversion. It just yeah, looks it fits factory. really well. It looks yeah, brilliant. it looks factory, yeah. It's the, it's the vehicle Volkswagen should have built. Yeah. So what's in here? So this is our workshop where we do testing the products Ooh. to make sure that bits actually fit like they should do, and also where we're doing how-to yeah. videos. Beautiful car. What year is this? 56. It's called Jack. So we did it for my 50th birthday. You we, actually raced it? Yeah, I raced it with no my son way. Josh. Josh navigated and I drove. It's done about 20,000 miles since we built it. You're kidding. No, it's been used a lot. Wow. But what? we're just refreshing the interior now. So Mark, who does the how-to videos here, that we just stripped the interior for the winter. Right. But typical, it's just how life goes. Yeah. It's in a bit of a last minute rush for the Vauxhall show. Is this going to the show as well? It's going to go to the show oh, as so well. You're in a similar position to us then? Oh, Panicking? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to panic, but yeah. <laughs> so it's got like a little race engine. So it goes from 30 horsepower up to about 60, 65. The same base, same basic basic engine. engine. Yeah. That's awesome. And then all of our cars we fit with the engine firefighter. So I think that's a must. And then to make it safe, because I figure, you know, you want to drive an old car on the road, but people aren't used to seeing almost no indicators. Yeah, flashing brake light is no. not exactly helpful, is it? No. Yeah. So we've put on it... Has this got semaphores? It's got semaphores, Okay. they flash now. So we make it so they flash. We made a modern LED flashing bulb that fits inside. Originally, that it would pop out glow. and just glow, very dim, kind and of... Nobody, nobody seemed to get the gist that you're trying to turn right. No. So we've hidden in the back here, like a modern moped, backlight right so you can't see it until Any they flash time, yeah. but then hopefully somebody behind you can see it in the vent and on the flashing that, semaphore that is great and then we've hit another one of these in the front so half the idea of the workshop is to try and do like simple how-to videos so that people can feel empowered to fix their own cars or 
do some of the work themselves and then take it to one of the garages. It gives them a bit of an idea of the stuff that maybe they can't do, that they can understand when they take it to their specialist, what, what's entailed and what they're going to do. That's half of it, I think. That's true. It's, it's kind of knowing your limit. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely. I'm all for everyone having a go. I say this to so many people, yeah. even with you know things at home, hanging shelves and yeah, basic yeah, DIY course. tasks. It's like, it is doable. It's the same with these old cars. Yeah, it's like some jobs are like a basic service, oil change, Exactly, Plugs, your maintenance like that. that you need to keep on top of. You can do you yourself. Absolutely you can, can do, do it. Yourself. Yeah, in a workshop like this, I mean, there's no, 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 no. horrendously fancy tools. No, no, no. No, no. You have no specialist garage can, they can't see inside in advance. Exactly. So, they, so it's very difficult to quote. And then hopefully then people have got a bit more sympathy when the garage phones up and says, there's this problem. So I think we're trying to explain to people, you can do the work yourself, but if you have taken to a garage, that, you know, they are old. Yeah. They're not always least. ripping you off, yeah. No, exactly. exactly. I think you're doing a great thing, though, just by trying to inspire people. I think it's a, it's a lovely thing to... That's what we want to do. We want yeah. to keep the vehicles on the road. Yeah. We don't want people to get fed up with what they've got because they've, they've come across uh, a problem that they can't fix or that they can't understand. Yeah. You, you know, it's trying to... Ed, a little bit of education. By doing the work yourself, you kind of gain a bit more confidence in the car. Yeah. Because you know... Yeah. You know what you've done. If it starts... If you're driving along and it gets a misfire, you know... ah. I haven't changed the fuel filter in ages, or the, yeah, that, yeah. that plug that was yeah, in yeah, on that leads, should yeah. have done yeah. those leads. Yeah, exactly. You kind of have a bit more confidence that if it lets you down, you kind of know it. Yeah, you, you become do. friends, don't yeah, you? So, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, for anyone that owns a classic car or wants to own a classic car but is a bit daunted, yeah. I think the work with these videos you're making and it tr hope, yeah, is a brilliant that's, thing. That's what we're trying to do. But it's going well. I'm very grateful for the whole team at Just Campus for providing us with all of the parts and knowledge oh, that we've needed throughout the way. No and I've come down today to pick up the last few bits. Mm -hmm. We're so close because we're now days away from the Volkswagen show. Okay. We've still got a lot of work to do. There we go. Mark, honestly, thank you so much for the tour. No, you're very welcome. So Brilliant. we'll see you on Saturday at the Volkswagen show. Fingers crossed. Well, if hopefully. we get it all finished. Yep. And yeah. there you go. So if you Perfect. take the bits with you and the guys here will be happy, it's one less parcel to pack. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Mark. Cheers. Today is the last day we've got to work on the Beetle and we need to get that Beetle on its wheels, running on the button and driving it out the workshop today. It's going to happen in the next few minutes. <laughs> Supplied by Just Campers. Do you, want, do you want choke to start? I don't know. I should think so. A little bit. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Keep it like that. Go on. Straighten it up. Not too much. Come back a bit. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, you should be. What about that big box? You're going to hit that. Here it comes. Oh, natural light for the first time in years. Fantastic. <laughs> this is brilliant. It actually feels really nice. <laughs> it feels really good. Thank God for that. Really, really nice. Everything feels positive very very good we've spent the last few hours i say the last few hours look how dark it is outside now <laughs> um, doing electrical things wiring diagrams that i don't know how to read and don't understand and we've got more wiring diagrams john's losing his patience aren't you john no 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 i think we've just had a little bit of a eureka moment and figured out there's one wire that hasn't got power because of something else that with john is under there now just doing and hopefully these semaphores will be popping out of the side very soon. Okay, we've got power. Go on and hit the switch. Right. Oh! Oh, yes. oh done with that, boy. I 
I have still got tomorrow. So tomorrow's Sunday. I'm going to come back here. John's not here. Um, I will be here probably all day cleaning it, polishing it, putting the hubcaps on, finishing the last few little bits. But cosmetics, really. The mechanics and the nuts and bolts of it are done. The next time you'll see the Oval will be in next week's video. We will both be at the Volkswagen show and the Oval will be on the Just Camper stand inside the stall. Uh, I can't wait to see it in there. And I hope that we get to meet the lucky new owner. Oh. Do you think it's going to sell? Uh, absolutely. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Thank you so much to Just Campers again for helping us through this epic journey. Um, and we'll see you next week at the Volkswagen Show. John. That's goodbye for me. I think I owe you a burger. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>